Hello everybody, I am back today with a layout for Cup to You. I'm going to be working with this leaf edge cut file. I'll have the link for it down below and we are going to play with it. So I'm starting off with some, some tattered rose distress oxide ink and I'm going to blend this ink all over this cut file. So the way that I'm going to do this is I want a large concentration of ink at the top and then I want a almost no concentration of ink at the bottom. I'm going to attempt to do a fun little ombre technique. So I'm going to be using Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink and then I'm also going to be using the Coordinating Distress or uh, the Coordinating Tattered Rose Distress Embossing Glaze. If you haven't seen me use this before, uh, I have a couple videos with uh, different or uh, yeah, playing with this and I love it. It's so much fun. Um, I, my design team order for next month at a tarot top is going to include more colors because it's so awesome. So I'm going to do all of this ink blending now. Again, getting a really nice saturated color at the top and then uh, fading it down into white. So once I'm happy with the colors that I have here and the color gradation, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my embossing powder or embossing ink to the cut file. I'm going to clean off my mat, start over again. So I am using the Ranger Embossing Dauber, which is okay. Um, I've been kind of playing around with embossing daubers for a while now, trying to find one that allows me to really get a good ink coverage on embossing for embossing large cut files like this. And um, while the Ranger one is probably the best one that I've worked with, um, I haven't tried the Distress one yet, uh, but I, I, I don't see that it's something I need in my craft room. Does that make sense? Because I have embossing pads that I really like, and I feel like just flipping that embossing pad over and just running it over the top of the cut file, that seems to be working, seems to be, that seems to work better even than these embossing daubers. This is the second one I've tried, and I'm, this one definitely works a lot better than the other one, but... I'm still not super happy with the coverage or the application process, so I think I might just keep using my Altenew embossing ink and go with that because I do like that one. So it took me a couple of passes to get all this whole huge emboss cut file <laughs> covered in embossing powder, and then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hit it with my heat tool. Now you can see here how that ombre, how inking that up, this is just one coat. Um, and how inking underneath that embossing glaze at the top and inking very heavily at the top and then kind of going down the bottom created this kind of ombre look to my embossing and I was really happy with that. It looks really nice. So now I'm going to take all of the scraps of paper that I have from Coco Vanilla Studios Midnight Collection and I'm just going to clean off my mat and back all of those leaves with different colors. Okay, I'm going to use this pattern paper from that Midnight Collection as my background. It just worked really well, and then you can see how I filled in all of the leaves with different patterns from this collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, and I'm just running glue over the stems of the leaves. I am just running, that's all I'm doing, running glue just over the stems. I'm letting the leaf portions uh, be un unglued for now because I'm going to go ahead and pop them up. So while those leaves dry on my page, I'm going to cut a nice mat. I did a half inch mat, so this is four and a half by six and a half because I wanted to get all those pretty ombre colors into, I want you to be able to see them. I want this photo to have a really nice mat. So this is one of the wedding photos that I have. Um, I think in total I ended up printing something like 10 wedding photos and I'm probably going to end up using one per page just because it's spring and they're beautiful pictures and I'm stuck at home and beautiful pictures make me happy. So that's what our plan is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tuck this photo right up underneath some of my leaves. Now I start out with this photo being kind of at an angle because I thought that that's how I would like it. 
And then as I start to put the layout together, I decide that I really don't want it to be at an angle. And I go ahead and adhere it down uh, straight, straight up and down. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add some dimension to these leaves. So I grab this foam. So this is like the throwaway parts of like a shaker pocket type foam, but I'm not going to throw it away because I think it could be totally usable. I'm going to cut it into pieces and I'm going to pop some of the leaves up. Now because this foam is really, really like, it's really popped, it's really like it's a big dimensional foam, I'm going to also go ahead and use some of my smaller dimensional foam on some of the smaller leaves and that gives me a difference in depth, it gives me a de difference in dimension, and now you understand why I only glued down the stems because I wanted to pop these leaves up. For my page title, I went through the pack of die cut words that are in the Midlight collection and I kind of made my own little title here. It's just going to say all the love and I'm still popping up leaves, but I'll stop in a minute. I just, I wanted them to be dimensional, but I was also worried about, um, I didn't want them to be too dimensional because of course those leaves are large and then they're attached to these skinny little stems, right? And I was kind of a little worried about maybe even breaking or tearing the stems. So like here, I'm gonna switch it out for uh, something that's a little less dimensional because I, I felt like that stem piece there was kinda getting um, a bit, what's the word, shifty. <laughs> so now I'm gonna add lots of sequins. So we are gonna really jazz this cut file up. I'm not going to add um, much more to this layout other than I'm really gonna jazz up this cut file. So I'm adding sequins, I'm adding them in little clusters of three. I'm adding them to the top of the leaves and on different par portions of the stem. My idea is that they would kind of look like little berries or little clusters of buds, um, things like that, something kind of cool and, and interesting. So I'm just taking my Nuva Deluxe adhesives and then I'm going ahead and adding my sequins. My sequins always come from Spiegel Mom Scraps, so that's where they just, that's where they always, always come from. And this is no exception. So now I'm going to go ahead and add just a couple of hearts. We're going to go with kind of a heart and flowers theme for this page. And so I'm looking here for some adhesive because I wanted to use one of these little buttons. But uh, I ended up kind of destroying the adhesive that it comes with. So I needed to add my own. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and I'm going to add lots of little clusters of flowers and leaves up underneath these die cut clusters. I'm going to go through the ephemera pack. So I have a lot of this collection. This is one of those uh, Cocoa Vanilla Studio collections that I might be <coughs> hoarding. <coughs> so <coughs> I have two packs of the ephemera and I have two packs of the stickers and I have two or three of all of the papers. Um, and so I pulled them out of my stash. I'm going to use them up. Um, on this page for sure, probably maybe another one another day. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to adhere down all of these uh, beautiful flowers and then I'm going to start adding in little bits and pieces here. You can see me kind of start with these butterflies. So the way that this cut file is, it has all these open spaces between the leaves, right? And I should be cool with them, but for some reason when I was doing this page, I just kept seeing trapped white space. So I ended up really kind of clustering and filling in those leaf edges so that there were um, hearts or there were little butterflies or I'm going to go ahead and with some little phrase stickers too. And the reason why I'm just, I'm filling out that top portion of the leaves because to my eye, and it's just me and I know it's just me, but to my eye, I just keep kept seeing like when I would look at the page, I would just keep seeing like these areas that just looked like trapped white, white space and it was bugging me. So I really kind of really filled in all the parts of this um, cut file where there were little, there were like little pockets because in my brain, my brain kept looking at it and going, that's right where my brain would go. Like that's right where my eye wanted to go. And so I just, I just, um, went ahead and kind of just filled those in until I was really happy with what I had and how things were looking. 
And that's where we're going to finish this one up. So thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to head over to the Cut to You shop and grab some cut files. These are really great. You can alter. I, I love them. I love taking these cut files and like altering them and playing with them, making them match collections in my stash. Um, such a fun way to have your scrappy budget go a long way and to stretch your scrappy budget is cut files. All right. Have a wonderful day, guys. We'll see you all again soon. Bye.